Okay, so my kids absolutely love Spider-Man. So here's what I did. Um, I made their room all into this Spider-Man decor. Um, one of my boys, his bedding is all Spider-Man. So I bought this Spider-Man set and it's got the straight um, uh, corner fitted sheet, then the regular sheet that goes on top of that, and the pillowcases and the blanket. Now he never uses the just right, straight regular sheet. So what I did is I took the sheet and I started by splitting the sheet right at the halfway point. So literally I just, as you can see, I just cut it right down the middle. I made sure it was the halfway point because now when the curtains close it can line up a lot nicer. It's not a hundred percent lined up because you still have to fold stuff but it looks really really close right so um, anyways I split it down the middle and then I measured the kids windows and I cut a portion off of the bottom of the curtains so then what I did is I turned the curtains in um, so that the the nice side was facing the floor and I took the corner pieces of it and all I did was I folded them inwards and I used little pins and I pinned it all the way through okay then I took my sewing machine and I sewed that little hem piece up the side now because the sheet was done there's already one hem side that I don't even have to do because it was already done when you buy the sheet set right so only the middle side where I cut and the bottom where I cut did I have to turn the sheet and create a hemline. Okay? So once you did that, then you look up at the top. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you give yourself a large amount of space because you need to make sure that Oh, sorry. You need to make sure that the rod is going to be able to go inside the sheet. So you take the sheet and you fold it over your rod and make sure that you've got plenty of space inside there so that you can slide it really nicely without it getting stuck when you're trying to slide it, right? So you fold that over and then what you do is you take your pins and you mark your spot so that you have a nice fold and then you just sew that fold piece over and then you put them on the rod and there you go you've got a nice spider-man um, curtain that matches with the bed set that the kids have and it didn't take me long to do it it's really quick and easy to do the only thing that you really have to remember to do is do your sides here and your bottoms first because if you try to do this top piece first and then you start sewing your sides you're gonna sew where you need this hole you're gonna end up sewing it closed if you do this piece last so always do that first and then the actual piece that's gonna hang on the rod do that one last so that you have your hole. But that's it. It's done, it's simple, it's easy. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that whenever you have a curtain, especially one that you're making yourself, what's uh, and, and it has print like this, what's gonna happen is that while it's sitting in the curtain, in, in the window, the sun is gonna shine on it and it's gonna start to fade the picture away. Um, the way to get around that is just by going to the store and buying like they have this really really cheap material that's just like a plain backing um, and you use that and put that on the other side of your sheet instead of it just being the one sheet then you have a backing and it will protect your picture and your print that's on 
your curtains and it'll last you a lot longer. If you know, you're trying to save some money, which is the whole reason for doing the curtains yourself. And and it's fun too, you know, but a huge part of it is the amount of money that it saves me. It's, it's an item that I already had. It matches with the rest of the room. The kids love it. It's great. It doesn't take long to do. So, I mean, I wasn't about to go to the store and buy some some material to put in the back because, I mean, we all know kids grow out of stuff. So, really, by the time that this print starts to fade, the kids aren't going to be into Spider-Man anymore anyway. So, whatever they're into, all of a sudden, then you can switch it up and do something different. So, it's really easy to do. It looks really great when it's done. The kids absolutely love it. Now, also, on top of all of this, because I used the bed sheet and there was bed sheet left over, now I've got all this additional material. So, I can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, I can make the little pieces that come around here and bow tie around so just this nice material so that when the kids want the curtains open they can actually tie their curtains up instead of just pushing them over so that's another little option that I can do with that um, and then they also have other things in their room like dressers and and tables and things like that so you can make little cloth materials that go on top of the dresser to protect your dressers from getting damaged um, by putting these little Spider-Man cloth things um, or you can get a picture frame from the dollar store and take that sheet and cut it out to fit inside the frame put the cardboard backing on that put it in a picture frame and now all of a sudden he's got this really cool frame that matches with his bed and his curtains and it looks great and it gives you decorations for the wall you can do all kinds of stuff with the spare material so anyways that's how I made my spider-man curtains and hopefully it gives you guys some great ideas of things that you can do um, for your kids and for their bedrooms and realize that it's cheap and easy to do and it looks great and the kids love it and uh, that's that so I'm gonna go hang these up now bye everybody